Hey, this is Anderson Page from Tiny House Crafters. Um, we just finished our latest build yesterday, so I wanted to give you guys a tour uh, before it goes to our client. Um, this is the outside. I think this is the last you guys saw of it. We had finished the outside. Um, a couple of the bump outs we've done for the water heater and the heater, um, but we're going to probably go right inside because we've already done this in our previous tour. Um, one thing is this is our gray water system. The two 45 gallon tanks. Um, that our client wanted. He has a compost toilet, so, and then he'll have those pumped by a septic company until he finds a more permanent solution, but that is uh, one option. This is the heater vent. Come on inside. Alright, so we've done the plywood floors, first plywood floors like we've done in our previous models. Um, we did quarter inch plywood on the walls and three eighths beadboard. Uh, there was some concern about flex between the studs and it actually turned out really well. Um, what else we got the stairs like last time? They're a little bit wider because we wanted to make sure they're nice and safe. Got a built-in built-in table that actually is reused from our client's house. Um, we have a 12,000 BTU Williams heater, propane, direct vent. Fan works. Hmm. And here's a seven and a half cubic fridge. Um, the space is bigger because our client, our client is hoping to add a propane fridge down the road, so we need to accommodate that size. That's why there's this intentional space up here. Um, all the cabinets are IKEA. A nice 24 inch sink. A 20 inch compact range with the vent. The loft, you can see above, is all tongue groove pine. Um, that is the floor of the loft and also the ceiling in here with these exposed 4x4 hemlock beams. And then track light in between. Um, for the bathroom door, we have a pocket door. Works out very well. And I'll let you come on in here. To the left is a nature's head composting toilet and a Tagaki instant hot water heater. We also have a bathroom fan and a bathroom light. On the other side we have a 32 by 32 fiberglass shower. A lot of good space. for a lot of good space in the kitchen. The bathroom is a little bit smaller because we wanted to focus more on the kitchen and the great room. So you got a lot, a lot of good counter space, nice big sink, nice big fridge. Um, and then we can pop up and you can take a peek in the loft where we have storage in the stairs, the pine treads, and then two two by two sliders up there with one more sconce. So that's our latest build. It's 24 feet, um, which is the biggest one we've built yet. And it feels really nice and spacious in here. Um, and we start another one in a week, week and a half. So we're going to try to do a little bit better about videos uh, to keep you updated. But wanted you all to see the, the finished product before it heads to Maine. Thanks so much for checking it out. See you soon.